Hello, I'm Reynard Wilson, and you're watching another episode of Mind of Steel. This is the show where I delve into the weird, wacky, wonderful, zany world of one man. His name is Mark Steele, and he's often referred to as Britain's most ludicrous conspiracy theorist. And uh, we're going to delve into some of his really quite outrageous conspiracy theories today. And it all starts today in Mark Steele's dining room as we join him at the beginning of another very important Save Us Now daily Zoom call. I'm going to go and give him a treat. That'll show him <laughs> not a second. Mark Steele's semi-regular Zoom call is never a polished affair. He advertises it on his Telegram, and if you have the link, you can just join in, as I often do. It's really quite ridiculous. Uh, and on this occasion, he seemed to have a bit of a false start. He, he had to placate some rowdy dog with some bone-based chew. And then immediately afterwards, he had to answer a phone call. So we were all waiting in, on tender hooks for what exciting conspiracy theories he would be unleashing upon us. And on this day, we were not disappointed. That sort him out. That sorts him out. Just give me a dent each stick there. What a dog. Anyway, Ooh, be quiet. I'm trying to tell people about the psyop and you're trying to get in the middle of it. It's Boris Johnson told you to do this. <laughs> well, <how> did... <laughs> what a moment of comic levity from Britain's most ludicrous conspiracy theorist. But as you may have guessed, today he wants to talk about a psyop. And that's a word that Mark Steele often abuses, probably because he doesn't actually know what the word means. Right, now obviously this thing in the Middle East is horrific, but you've got to remember, it's a psyop. It's to deflect away from other issues. Now what, what possibly could be going on? We're all wondering what's going on, specifically in the mind of Mark Steele. It's clear that he's referring to the war that recently started between Hamas and the state of Israel. That's a particularly bloody conflict that has taken the world by surprise. And many people have died in it. It's, it's an absolutely hideous conflict that, uh, but it's not a psyop. A psyop means psychological operation. This is a war with bombs, guns, mortars, Things are exploding and people are getting shot. That's not a psyop, that's an op. Mark has confused psychological with, um, well, the opposite of psychological, which is strange because the highest qualification that Mark Seal has ever attained is a psychology degree from the Open University while he was in prison. You'd think that somebody who at least attempted a degree might know the difference between something that was psychology and something that was a, a mortar exploding in your face. What they're covering up is your potential planned extermination. It's a psyop because the Israeli government have basically murdered most of that own population. They've sterilised most of them. They've sterilised most of the Jewish population. Israel was one of the highest injected populations, unfortunately, across the world. The government of Israel have tried to murder and genocide all that own people. Let's forget about that. Let's talk about... Well, I did promise you an outrageous conspiracy theory, and I think today Mark Steele has delivered big time. The idea that the state of Israel, or, or even the, the authorities in the Gaza Strip, might start a, a bloody shooting war uh, involving the, the loss of thousands of lives in order to cover up the fact that Israelis took the vaccine. Well, that is beyond belief. It's, it's an outrageous claim. I wonder if Mark has any evidence to back it up. I had it on the Georgia Gatestones, but remember, that was just first round. You've got to remember, you know, that 500 million that they're talking about surviving, that's not what they're planning. It's not what the plan is at all. The plan is to kill all biological life, all God's creation, and replace it with some cyborg, some AI intelligence thing. And why? 
Well, of course, it's so we can bring about a future that resembles the plot of the film The Terminator, in which AIs have gained control over the world as we know it, and all life on Earth is wiped out by a cybernetic threat. But is that all that the evil Satanist cabal have in store for us? Unfortunately not. It's going to get worse. Much, much worse. And then what all the Satanists are going to do, they're going to load themselves up into this platform, this mind control platform, and they're going to live in this uh, in this virtual, virtual world, this virtual reality, you know, walking around. Now, the technology is there. The technology is there. A cabal of Satanists will upload their consciousness into something resembling the Matrix, Disney's Tron, or possibly Linden Lab's Second Life. I hope it won't be that boring, because uh, as far as I remember, Second Life were, was just sort of virtual brothels and gambling, and it, it was a tremendously tiresome place. I, I Honestly, if that's what the Satanists want, uh, it, it sounds like a, a really... Why do they have to destroy the Earth in order to upload their consciousness into the, the, the Matrix or whatever? if the technology is already... I don't get this plan. But I'm sure Mark Steele is right, right? The, the Satanists wouldn't exterminate the world in order to upload their consciousness into the Matrix Tron stroke Second Life thing unless there was some terrible need for to do so. It's a dastardly plan. But does it have a flaw? Mark Steele is always one step ahead of the Satanist cabal, isn't he? The technology is there, so you see, they'll, they'll do it, right? I don't know what they're going to do for the power, when the power stations and the, the the nuclear power stations melt down and they burn out all of that computer, <laughs> burn out all that computer network. So I'm not doing very well, is it? Their society depended on nuclear power stations that, having become up entirely uploaded consciousnesses, they were unable to maintain, and thus the Satanists will become the victims of their own success. But unfortunately, long after, we have all been obliterated because apparently that is their plan. It's not looking good for us, is it? There's a PSYOP on the PSYOP, right? The PSYOP is to keep you distracted while they get this mass extermination plan in place, like you less cameras. That's why we follow Mark Steele, because he can find the truth the real truth, not the bullshit that the mainstream media tells you, not the rubbish that the BBC or CNN tells you. Mark Steele gets behind the story and reveals what's really happening. And he can see that the reason why Hamas attacked Israel and the conflict has been escalating in that part of the world, the reason why all those people are dying, it's to stop people asking questions about the ULEs. And that's a system to prevent urban pollution by forcing people who have polluting vehicles to pay a daily fee of between 12 and 25 pounds if they wish to enter one of the ultra-low emission zones of eight cities in the United Kingdom. It makes perfect sense. Obviously, everything that is happening in Israel and the West Bank right now is all about the traffic enforcement camera system that was recently installed in the cities of London and Newcastle. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for explaining this truth to us. You see, the multi-fusion, multi-photon ionising radiation guns, those radar guns that are putting up in uh, London, they don't want anybody talking about that. They don't want you talking about the 15-minute digital city prison. You see, they're the things that are trying to stop you and trying to distract people to another case. And now, for my favourite part of the Save Us Now daily call, it's the bit where Mark Steele's followers are invited to ask him a question. And I think today's really doesn't disappoint. Yes, well, Lawrence, yeah, Lawrence has got his hand up. Yeah, Lawrence, hope my help. Hello, there you are. I haven't paid um, any electricity bill for about two years now until they present me with a true bill, OK? We all know that. They've just offered me um, to wipe off my debt completely if I accept one of those smart meters. I told them, go up yourself, basically. The, the judge will see it. 
well, you are receiving a service. Why didn't you pay it? You know what I mean? So you can't pay them. The bill's in dispute, and it's in dispute due to the fact that you know there's an element paying for all that chemtrail. You're paying for all that PSYOP. You're paying to fund electric cars for child slavery, which is illegal, by the way. So you, there's all that crap that you're funding with your gas and energy bill. Hasn't today been an absolutely wild ride? Mark Steele has revealed that the war that is currently being fought between Hamas and Israel has nothing to do with what mainstream media is telling us. It is, in fact, a way of covering up the Satanist cabal's plan to upload their consciousness into the matrix, and in doing so, usher in their own demise when the nuclear power stations they depend upon are allowed to decay. And even that, even though it takes place far in the distant future, and even though it is based on technology that Mark Steele believes currently exists, well, all of that is just a plan to distract us from the ultra-low emission zone program that is taking place in London, where I live, and in Gateshead, where Mark Steele lives. Who'd have thought that people could be so evil as to do those things? Well, but I'm sure if Mark Steele says it's happening, then it must be. Because if it's one thing that we have learned, Mark Steele is always, always right. Anyway, I'll look forward to being right here with you for another episode of Mind of Steel. See you in a week. <laughs>